And now for this afternoon's poll question. Will Money College start their degree program in the near future? Now, presenting the evening news. Renato Cardova Valentino Adams has declared a resolve of a hundred times as he has stated in a self-authored song, which is on the airwaves, that he will be out on the streets again. College's newly appointed principal has declared improvements in the school's administration prior to an uprise by students requesting improvements. Sweet Bee's ice cream factory caught a blaze early today and has incurred huge losses on equipment. It is speculated that an electrical short circuit is to be blamed for the blaze. And Clevon Wilson has this report for you. And now, over to Clever. Yes, Gar. Reporting live <coughs> from the Sweet Bay Factory in the industrialized area of Monique Sempan. Goods worth millions of dollars were burned when a huge fire broke out at the factory early this morning. According to fire department officials, it was postulated that the incident probably occurred due to an electrical short circuit. The fire department officials received information about Sweet Bee Factory at 6.35 a.m. this morning. Six fire brigade vehicles arrived at the scene 120 minutes later. A senior department official told her news team that they managed to control the fire when 45 minutes later. However, it was very difficult to save the articles as the factory was full of paper packing used for ice cream packaging. Numerous ice cream machines, packing paper, and coal rooms were burned to the ground. The factory was insured. Estimated damage is $80 million. I am Clover Wilson for Prime Time News. The Monique College sewage facility came under extreme scrutinization prior to the overflow of its containment. This has caused a problem for the persons living in and around the community. The National Housing Trust, NHT, could soon begin providing loans for solar water heaters for their clients' homes. That is, if Prime Minister PJ Patterson and his cabinet has their way. Prime Minister Patterson, in what was his last post-cabinet retreat press briefing, told journalists Monday that fuel conservation and efficiency must be seen as one of the nation's top priorities. As such, in a bid to increase the use of solar water energy rather than electricity, Cabinet has asked the NHT to provide loans for installing solar water heating systems in mortgagees' homes as a matter of policy. Under a five-year grant from the UNESCO Fund, the Ministry of Health, through its HIV AIDS control project, has been working to increase the provision of antiretroviral drugs to children and adults. The project is also aimed at developing and implementing policies to reduce stigma and discrimination against people living with HIV and AIDS. A total of U.S. $7.5 million has so far been spent on these programs since the grant was awarded in 2004. Under the program, just over 1,400 adults and 150 children have been placed on antiretroviral drugs and over 26,000 students are participating in a health and family life intervention in schools. And now, for we'll take a quick commercial break and when we return, Anthony Hamilton will present 
the sports <laughs> This will continually fade throughout the day and may not cause problems for either Cuba or Hispaniola. Moving across into the Lesser Antilles. Mm. Across in the Lesser Antilles, we have signs of a slightly but slowly developing tropical depression, which is expected to move in a continuously northwesterly direction, which is in the Greater Antilles. And now, focusing on Jamaica. For Negril, we will be having partly cloudy skies with low cloud cover. And we will also be having the same conditions for Montego Bay. Across the ocean we will be having slightly more cloud cover, but still partly cloudy skies. And for the rest of the island, we will be having clear skies with lots of sunshine. And now for our extended forecast. 